January 18, 2022. Still feels weird to say that. Mac G uploads an interview with international singer Ari Lennox. Talking over video call, Mac G proceeds to sing her praises about her tiny desk performance, particularly one of the songs called Pussy Pop, later shortened to Pop. A song which explores the insecurities of a woman who is worried about the strength of her suitor's commitment once she accepted to give her body to him. Mac G would ask her to explain how the song came about and its meaning. Ari Lennox would respond with a rough version of the reasoning that I mentioned above, to which Mac G would respond by asking her a question. And where we at right now? Is someone fucking you good right now? Are you oh my married? god! What? Oh shit. Here we go again. Meg G has been embroiled in controversy ever since the podcast started to gain mass attraction. Why can't you just be a man and be with a woman? Even if you prefer you want the her pots? strapping up and doing you. <laughs> <coughs> Moving right along. Since today is a nice and short one, I just wanted to get to the meat of the issue. In and out. Good. Good in and out. Fucking. Good fucking. Who's fucking you? On the 6th of December 2021, Mac G would upload the 310th episode of the podcast, which took a more serious tone. No, no, it's not the day for that. Okay. So okay. Shut the fuck up. I will fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. In the episode, Mac G would vent out his feelings regarding the backlash due to the last interview with Droop Droop. I'm a sweet isn't as imminent. And the subsequent Amanda Dubont video. So the TLDR is that Mac G asked Droop Droop who he had smashed and if Amanda Dubont was one of them. Droop Droop answered with yes, Amanda didn't take kindly to how she was being mentioned, particularly the word smashed, as she would reveal that... First of all, Malemo, um, you me. I was for two years, solidly. She would also go on to say... So, you know, any woman who endured any abuse from Mac G, I urge you to please DM me, come forward. And we will fight them together. So you got the story, ne? You fine? Good? Sure? Sure. Moving on. Mac G had great points regarding his recent backlash. The first being that he doesn't believe that the scope of his content should change wait, just wait, because his podcast is getting bigger. This thing was built on, 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 on transparency, honesty, mm -hmm. authenticity. We've always been honest to our chills. Always. So why can't we this time? How Amanda advocating for people to come out if they had been assaulted by Mac G paints the impression that he actually assaulted someone. So she's mad and now she's doing a, 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 a video where she's taking down everybody because mm -hmm. she's, she's coming from a place of hurt, which of I hurt, understand. Yes. Seeing that interview, it triggered her. But it does not give her a right to just falsely accuse me of doing something that I have nothing to do with. How, because of the Me Too movement, anyone who accuses another of anything, they are to be believed without asking the necessary questions regarding the accusation. There's an element of people riding the GBV wave for personal vendettas to even the score. For example, look at Onati Caesar. Without that clip, mm. Caesar's fucked. And, 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 and you, as a person, can't go on Twitter and say, okay, I hear Unati, but what if... Uh, no, it's got to be we believe. We believe we're not. Mac G will sort of round off his argument by saying that he won't change his content and he will still be asking the questions how his audience would like to hear them. Bringing us to this moment right here. It seems weird, ne? Seems pretty messed up that Mac G would ask such an intrusive question, right? Asking this question alone. And where we at right now? Is someone fucking you good right now? Pretty weird. However, in context with this. Oh my married? god! Whoa there. <laughs> um, I'm not having whoa, that's a wild question. <laughs> Why that way? Why ask it that way? Whoa. Because <laughs> that's what you say in the song. This, my friend, is called journalistic brilliance. Number one, the interviewer is sticking to the topic you are here for, your art. Number two, it shows that Mac G has done his due diligence on the artist he's interviewing, which clearly the interviewee did not do. She just saw Mac G's numbers and didn't bother to research the character of the show. Ari tweeting this and saying, Just because I happily and freely sing or write about sex, don't make any kind of creepy disrespect warranted. This 
is simply not true. I'm going to play these clips back to back so you can get the main idea of what I'm saying. I'll fuck you good. Is someone fucking you good right now? I'll fuck you good. Fuck you good. Is someone fucking you good right now? I'll fuck you good. Fuck you good. Fuck you good. Is someone fucking you good right now? He's using the exact wording that she used. Let's turn the tables here real quick. In 2014, Bobby Schmurder raps the lines. I've been selling cracks since like the fifth grade. When he went on The Breakfast Club, the first question that Charlemagne the God asks is... <laughs> My first question is, have you really been selling cracks since the fifth grade? When you are an artist, people will ask you about your art. If your art happens to cross paths with your actual life, then the question will have an unintended person personal correlation. Moving to the second point. Apparently, and, and you know what's weird about that interview? That interview is from last year. The interview was shot months ago? You had three months to voice your opinion regarding this interview. You only decided three days after the backlash to say something about it. Not only that, but you also had the opportunity to remove the question from the final draft and you didn't. Only until you saw the backlash on Twitter. Are you? This is not looking good, eh? Now, for the last point, which I touched on earlier, Ari should have done her research on MACG. This part is also directed at Saul himself, and it has to do with censorship over outrage. Okay, I'm gonna say this slowly. You cannot paint everyone with the same brush. Every human being is different. Look, I've asked many questions to both men and women, risque ones at that. I've had as many women answer me as much as I've had others reject to answer. If it's something that they aren't comfortable speaking about, all she has to do is say she's uncomfortable and move on. Ha, done, the video is over. Bitch, I am broke. I ain't gonna trip. No, but on the real though, some women are okay with being asked a certain question and some aren't. Even men. Mac G has been doing this for a long time and it's up to the interviewee to answer how they see fit, bro. And I could have chosen a better guest to start with because like you don't have any scandals. Like you're very nah. clean. Yeah, clean, I'm pretty clean. You know, we got to start the, the yeah, easily, nice. you know, easily mean nicely, you know. You're not talking about anal and shit like that, you know what I mean? Nah. <laughs> have you done it though? This is how she answered. You have, no? That's a yes, yeah. She's done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty ugly. <laughs> Pro Tusi. But I really miss. And 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 down there, is it 4A, 3B as well? And her anta. It looks like whatever you saw when you came out your mama. That's what it looks like. <laughs> LKG. A mother is one who takes care of everyone in the community, whether it's their own child or not. It's the one that takes care of everybody. Don't you want to so, be my mother so you can breastfeed me all day? Uh, Her answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, why should Ari be treated any different? In fact, if you think it's just women. No. <laughs> number two. Oh, number two the was bitches. the wreck. Not really, no. <laughs> Now, DJ Smoo wasn't comfortable with this question. Listen to his response. You know, for me is, I, and I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call sisters bitches. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always just been that guy because I was brought up by a lot of women around me. And they moved on. So there is no different kind of wording that Mac needed to use because Ari literally said this. Oh, fuck you good, fuck you good, fuck you good. How was Charlemagne supposed to word this question? Did you really do the thingy thing uh, at school in the grade after four? No. Bobby Schmurder said. I've been selling cracks since like the fifth grade. So he asked. Have you really been selling cracks since the fifth grade? You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. If Mac G changes the wording of this question, then that is the first sign of censorship, which shouldn't happen for us YouTube guys who are going against the system. So Sol, no. I love you, but stop it. Now, my problem with Ari is that she also said, which is just unfair, seeing that there were parts that were specifically removed as requested and this question wasn't one of them. Then she goes on a tirade painting the whole country as a bad place over comments made on Twitter. She was feeling the pressure of Twitter feminists and decided to act on them and not because she really had an issue with the question in the interview. A lot of her tweets were misleading and it just paints South Africa as a country in a bad light over something that she feels bad about after the fact. Because I mean, there's also this clip that exists. Right now, Ari, is it insulting to you if a guy busts on your face? 
No, not at all. It's a compliment. It's somebody I love very dearly. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, paint my face. Oh, paint? It. Whoa. If you I can tell it. you're a dirty talker, huh? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a little. What's So, all right, if you was to go on your text messages right now, what's the last sexy text you sent to your boo? A nude. In conclusion, I would like to bring up something very important. The whole video, I've only been showing you clips less than 10 seconds of hour or two long interviews. There's a reason everyone is fond of Mac G, and this is something that no one is mentioning. Mac G is, in my opinion, one of the best interviewers in the world. He's able to make an interview less about the celebrity but more about the person. It's almost as if you're speaking to a friend. Go and watch the full Pearl Tuesday interview on his channel, and if you show any emotion physically, you lose. This video is so motivational, moving, and also had me shedding a tear. Master Chaba discussed for the first time since being a celebrity that she was assaulted at a young age on Meg G's podcast. Even the Ari Linux interview had beautiful gems and had stories about her being an Uber driver and working at a Planet Fitness which she hadn't discussed before. It's super rare that you get celebrities opening up so much in their interviews. But that's the brilliance of Mac G. He's good at his job. He's actually better than good. The unfortunate part about the whole Mac G controversies is that a majority of people are only going to see the five seconds of him asking a silly or funny question and miss out on a sincerely talented man. Mac G, keep on bringing us the content that we subscribe for. If Kanye West had to take out a song tomorrow saying that his wife only has three toes, ask Kanye if he was happy that his wife was happily carrying his surname on her toes. If Barack Obama took out a song tomorrow saying that his 4-5 is actually a mini Cooper, ask him if it's a slatter. If Rihanna says that she likes it rough on a song, then you should ask her if it really is rocky there. Do not censor yourself. Bitch, I am broke. I ain't gonna trip. I show my Nikes you asked for the whip. Had to pay rent. Told my landlord, little bitch, I spend all that shit on my trip. Suck on my dick, I bust on your lip. Do that little shit where you bounce on my D. I stepped in this beat with two fake IDs. My name's all I need. Like doobie doobie. Smoke on my weed. <coughs> doobie. I'm higher than.